face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up you guys? And of course as always, welcome back to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And this week we will be covering something that is fairly rare, and that is grass types that are offensive, Leafeon versus Simisage. And the reason I say they're rare is because the trait of being a semi-solo monotyping of grass means that usually you want to go with a bulky route. They represent a bit more of a brittle stature and of course with that in mind they are more offensive and speedier making them very rare indeed but at the same time grass timing is not a bad offensive typing at all since of course most offensive typing look at the lights of actually water it does cover a very strong niche of actually be able to force water types out that usually are what is the most desirable defensive typing in the whole game so with that in mind we're gonna go over their stats ability and work removal and theme to find out which one of these two really are better. And we're gonna start off with Leafeon because it was introduced first between these two. Now before going over Leafeon itself, I do want to cover just how good Grass Soul typing really is and why it is a niche good defensive typing. Grass resists a very very key relevant stuff such as of course the likes of electric, grass, ground and water. Ground water and electric is very very common offensively so being able to soak on that is really great. However what does let the grass typing down is that they have too many weaknesses in contrast to which are only broad resistances. We have weakness in bug, fire, flying, ice and poison. Ice and fire being the more common of these and of course with the vault U-turn combo it also means that U-turn and bug defensively is something that grass typing doesn't necessarily deal with that well. This is definitely one of the reasons why the combination of poison and grass is one of the best ones because it does relieve of an issue that really stand out. But as a soul grass type, we have key resistances. It's just very, uh, very unfortunate that this key resistance isn't transparent as well on the weakness side. So with grass cover, let's go actually a look at Leafeon's stats. And they are really good. Now, every EV evolution do tend to have the same type of combination. There's 265, 160, 110, 195, 130. But the distribution on Leafeon is very, very interesting because it's very, very tough to be dealing with. First, it's HP of 65, of course, not that high. Attack, 110, yeah. For grass type, that's, that's really high. Then it's offensive, 130. It is... The bulkiest grass type in the whole game. I, I find it super strange to be talking about, but quite frankly, it is. I thought the goal guys represented that, but no. In a combination of HP, maybe. But soul defense, yeah, Leafion stands out here. 60 in a special attack, definitely not usable. 65 in a special defense, it is not taking a special defensive hit, it's very clear. And a speed tier of 95, which is very high, but the reason that speed tier is so interesting is because of its abilities. Chlorophyll boosts its speed by 2 in the sun. This will mean that this is the absolute fastest weather sweeper in the whole game. Uh, it basically is unrivaled here. Excadrill is the second fastest, but Leafeon stands out because of 95 base speed means that it doesn't rely on the weather to be speedy. However, with the weather, it is definitely speedy. Leaf Guard is also an ability that gives you immunity to any status in the sun, but trust me, Chlorophyll is where it's at, and Leafeon represents the best of it. However, a sweeper and as of Leafeon's caliber can only be as good as its move pool make it out to be. So how good are the move pool on Leafeon? Well, it is as good as any EV evolution, though with some niches. First and foremost, Leafeon gets soul stance. Really relevant that this kind of concept means you can boost your attack even further. We also have access to curse. Uh, another really cool niche that it does have as is both John and Grass Whistle to be able to actually sleep for opponent. While Grass Whistle have some shaky accuracy of 55%, it is still to be noted that this is a concept it does get. When it comes to physical sign and physical moves, we have a Leaf Blade, which is going to be your bread and butter overall. We have Air Lace, we have X Scissor, and we have Knockoff. We have a few decent filler moves you want to capitalize on them. One of them is being Quick Attack, the other one is actually going to be Flail. But trust me, you don't want to capitalize on that all too much. We also have Natural Gift, which 
could be usable to do course that you shift your offensive move to become what the berry you are carrying. So since we lack something like close combat and super power, or even ground filler actually, neutral gifts can actually cover that access and make it fairly viable. We also have a few niche moves from the tutor side, such as Seed Bomb, Iron Tail, Hyper Voice, Synthesis, who have a access to recovery, and then you know the laser focus combination, which is always relevant together with Heal Bell. And Heal Bell, of course, is a possible recovery as its own. But overall, I'd say that at um, Leafion might be having a small move pool, but its stats is really, really, really high. And of course, I really can't go without mentioning Double Edge and even further, of course, the most important one, Celebrate, which boosts your Pokemon with every Omni boost in the C move, which boosts every other stat, really. And I have seen a very cool niche that I do want to mention, and that is C Dig. Dig is a TM move from previous generation, which can be usable with this Pokemon mainly due to the C move and actually hit with a Tectonic Rage of 140 base power, which is definitely not bad at all, and definitely good for the movie to think about it. Combination of grass and ground is one of the strongest in the game. It's unfortunate that Leafeon sadly don't get Earthquake nor Superpower, but overall 1 in 10 in base attack and a really, really strong defense that makes Leafeon very hard to deal with, and with Leaf Blade and of course Sword Stance, this is a Pokemon that isn't necessarily easily walled out, and with Chlorophyll of Mine, this is a number one threat in most Sun Team because its speed to reduce is set high. Like I said, the move pool is lacking, but it's far from bad. It is definitely a key threat in any Sun Team. But we do have another contender, and that is going to be Semisage. Now, the Elemental Monkeys have for the longest time been irrelevant, I should say, in the meta, and actually for the longest time I actually kind of hated Free Energy 5 since it felt just as a filler Pokemon. I am here though to say that that is no longer the case. Simisage is a very very interesting Pokemon and it should be said that the other monkeys do share the same stat distribution. So we have 75 in HP, 98 in attack and special attack, 63 in defense and special defense, and 101 in speed. So overall, one could say this is definitely the definition of a mixed offensive Pokemon. The speeds are 101, yeah, it's up there, definitely outspeeding the 100 base Pokemon, which are, no, they are that really that many, and even the 95 base, so it's a very strong speed here, considering the high attack stat and special attack. It is brittle though, 65, or I mean 75 in HP to get it with 63 in its defenses, really aren't that desirable. Definitely making the Pokemon less reliant to actually soak in hits, but however, really aren't that many things that want to take a hit from this Pokemon either, or even outspeed it in the first place. Simusage also packs two really relevant abilities in Gluttony and Overgrow. Overgrow is much like Sceptile actually, that once your HP is below 50%, you get a stab a boost in 50% of your grass moves, which is really good. Um, given the circumstance you actually get there, consider your bulk and HP. That said, Gluttony is the one you're going to prefer most of the time. Gluttony makes sure that you pop your berry that are based on your HP range earlier. For example, Figure Berry that boosts your HP by 50%, you will pop that instead of 25% range, you will be at 50% range. Same with, you know, the Leech Berry that boosts your attack, for example, you don't need, be, need to be at 25%, you can be at 50, it's going to pop and boom, you're ready to go. So Glarny, while being kind of a, I guess you'd say, not as common of an ability or as usable due to the lack or low stamina of these Pokemon, it is actually very reliant and making Simisage really interesting in a Wi-Fi combatants. But as you guys know, a Pokemon is only as good as the move pool allows it to be. Therefore, we're gonna cover Simisage move pool. And what a move pool it is. It is a really strange Pokemon to be looking upon, and I'm definitely expecting you guys to appreciate this Pokemon even more now with actually talking about this. First and foremost comes to the definition of stab, we have seed bomb. Um, it's going to be your bread and butter throughout the game basically, but we also have Bullet Seed and Leaf Storm, which are both also super, super reliant and do a fair amount of damage to get it with the likes of Giga Drain. And on the setup side, we have Nasty Plot, which is definitely a really good setup move to get it with Walk Up. It doesn't get Sword Stance, unfortunately. I do believe that would have been a very, very strong filler, but Nasty Plot is definitely up there. And when it comes to filler move, here is where Simon Sage starts to shine a little bit because they really are a niche. First and foremost, we have Taunt. 
We also have Brick Break Rock Tomb. We have Acrobatics in combination with, I already mentioned, the Berry Popping with Gluttony. It could be even better. We have Low Sweep, Focus Blast, Energy Ball, uh, Shadow Claw, Rock Slide, Grass Knot, and Nature Power. Nature Power can be capitalized, of course, in a terrain environment, which really is helpful. We, of course, get a Lies of Action Electric Train with Tapu Coco, and then with that in mind, of course, we have potential Thunderbolts. Uh, when it comes to the egg moves it does get, there really are a few ones that stands out there. First and foremost, we have Low Kick, which is always going to be a good thing. Tickle, we have Astonish, but the one that really stands out the most, which is something got in Ultra Sunny Moon, which is Spike Shield. It might not sound like the key move, but just getting it really just makes this Pokemon very interesting. Spike Shield, of course, will ensure that you get some extra residual damage through offensive damage output. And it also can potentially fulfill a defensive role due to it. Uh, when on the tutor side, we have a few moves here that stands out that really makes it good. First and foremost, it gets Gunk Shot. Definitely very reliant if you want to capitalize on C moves. We have Super Power, which is something I mentioned before that Leafen is lacking, uh, which is something that really helps out to get it with Iron Tail, Knock Off, and Focus Punch, which is, of course, even enforces a harder hitting move. Recycle is also a fillable here, and together with Gluttony and Figgy Berry, you can definitely go a defensive route, which is really interesting. Uh, Endeavor, since you're not necessarily that bulky in the first place, Endeavor could definitely fill a role here. And we also have Road Chop. Um, a few maybe does get before it evolves that it could be capitalized on, or actually Leech Seed and Crunch. And of course, much like Leafeon, we also have the Dig situation here. And I said before, since Simusage doesn't get actually earthquake either c dig is an option however superpower is more aligned to get it with focus punch so overall i'll say the simus age has a very strong move pool and this is where dial is going to boil down to because when we talk about these two pokemon we're looking at the one pokemon here being called leafion that is bulkier that has an easier time setting up and has a natural really strong speed also of course 95 base speed and as stated it's bulkier and has full stats these are very very good key things to think about and talk about Leafeon, it does make a better Pokemon to actually capitalize on Synthesis and of course it is a very strong Chlorophyll Sweeper but I'm not fooling anyone with this type of dialogue for me Simisage is just more interesting because of the filler moves and its ability you can capitalize on it actually got better generation 7 and it has a lot to do with Gluttony making a lot of berries more reliable towards that Pokemon. And Simusage overall, as a grass type, has a really broad array of moves. I mean, one on one speed tier, not only is it a better reliant on its speed tier alone, it is able to really outmaneuver versus Leafeon a whole lot more, mainly because it does hurt a lot harder than Leafeon ever could consistently. Even though it lacks Sword Stance, it still packs a punch. And if, what a punch it does pack, it has a really, really strong move pull, and that really pushed over the border over Leafeon. So with that said, what do you guys think? Which Pokemon of these do you really, well, let's face it, prefer and you know, think overall really are better? I definitely believe, like I said, Elemental Monkeys are fairly underrated because of very, very relevant reasons. They share a tier with a lot of threats and, well, in that they are kind of anonymous. So it's up to me to really cover even more of these two. So next week we're going to continue this trade and actually cover the fire type of these Elemental Beasts versus another really strong elemental beast.